Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Quisha. On this channel, I like to do makeup, mukbangs, and more. Y'all, today is a makeup day. I just kind of wanted to sit down and do a, a chit chat, get ready with me. I just needed to get a lot of stuff off of my chest about how I've been feeling these past couple of weeks and plans for the future and, and stuff like that. So I just kind of sat down and did my makeup. I have a few new products to talk about. So I this is also in addition of is it lit or is it shit? I don't know if y'all remember my is it lit or is it shit? But they are back and in full effect. Lately I've been getting new stuff and I forget to give my honest opinion, my first impressions. Is it lit or is it shit? I just talk with me, vibe with me. Thank you for listening to me. I know this video is a little bit longer, but I kind of just had a lot to say and I haven't talked in over two weeks and it just felt a little bit weird and um, it felt good. So if you want to get ready with me, watch me do my makeup, do your makeup along with me, let me vent, then please keep watching. How y'all doing? Y'all all right? All right, y'all. I'm going to push my hair back real quick. So I am doing a little chit chat, get ready with me today. <sighs> I haven't been on to, I haven't been on here talking a lot because there has been a lot going on y'all to say the least, but y'all already knew that. I just needed a little bit of time to be sad, be depressed, be angry. I'm still all of those things, but I'm trying to get back into the swing of things to have a little bit of normalcy in my life just to kind of get back to being myself i've just i really haven't been myself lately and i'm just trying to come on back while still doing my part to make a change out here in these streets so without further ado <laughs> let's go ahead and get started i just kind of was in the mood to do my makeup and that's what we're gonna do. So I have some new products to talk about. And while I talk about those products, I'm just gonna talk about what's been going on with me, how I've been feeling about a lot of things and and, and whatnot. I just wanna I just wanna vent. I wanna get a little bit of stuff off my chest while getting cute. Okay. So the first product that I actually have to talk about is I'm not gonna be using it on camera because I already did it. My brows. The brow pencil that I've been using, um, I got two new ones. I got this Fur Furo, it's, it's it's supposed to be ferocious, but it's spelled very strange. Anyway, it's a ferocious brow pencil, ferocious brow pencil by the Balm. That's what I use today. It's okay. I think I'm just so used to the ColourPop brow pencils just really coming through with that pigment, and they are only five dollars, six dollars, whatever. And it's just I'm just gonna have to place an order to ColourPop. I believe they're back to shipping, so I just need my ColourPop brow pencil. And the other one that I have been using is this Elf Instant Lift brow pencil. Um, today I used the one by the bomb. Um, I like the elf one a little bit better, but I don't like that it's so fat. I like a more of a skinnier brow pencil so I can really get up in those front hairs. They're both very okay. Again, my favorite brow pencil is the one by ColourPop. And I like the shade black and brown. They have two. They have one that gives you more of a natural look. I don't like that one. I like the heavy duty one. I want some pigment on my brow pencil. I don't want to be like using so much product. I feel like that's a waste. It's been a rough couple of weeks, okay? I know I'm not alone in feeling like this. I know a lot of us, especially content creators, a lot of us have taken breaks. I've definitely taken a break. I think I only posted one video last week. I'm back to my normal schedule. The only change is I will still be going live um, for my makeup and mimosas, but instead of every Sunday, from going forward, it's going to be every other Sunday. So I just kind of want to give myself like a little bit of time to breathe on the weekends instead of like filming 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 going live da, 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 da. so also i'm trying not to drink as much anymore so spacing that out definitely helps me to you know only drink like twice a month or something like that yeah i'm trying to get slim and trim for what i don't know so to prime my eyes i'm going to use this pretty vulgar eyeshadow primer um i got this in my boxy charm and i've used it twice already and i'm still on the fence about it I don't, i'm not quite sure how i feel about it so i'm gonna um use that today i'm gonna be doing a simple eye look i really just kind of want to get on here and talk and just get cute for no reason but i just do my makeup is so like it's very therapeutic to me so it helps me kind of relax and de-stress and you look cute in the end my face is breaking out on the right side of my face and i have a feeling that it has to do with those face pads that I got in my BoxyCharm box. So I'm not using those anymore. I'm gonna give them to my sister. Hopefully they'll help her. Um, I have very sensitive skin, so it happens. Everything isn't gonna work for my skin. Very few things do actually. 
so yeah um those did not work for me i'll again talk about them when i do my next boxy charm box and i'm waiting to get my box down so um, i'll provide an update on the products that i got in my may box i do like how sticky this is nice and tacky okay so the palette that i'm using is also new this is the juvia's place warrior 2 palette look at how gorgeous this palette is when i first got this palette i honestly really wasn't feeling it it came in a package so it came with the other palettes that i got and at first when i looked at it i was like i don't really know but the more i look at this palette y'all it is gorgeous these are my type of shades i don't know why i didn't like this at first oh it's so pretty so this is the palette i'm gonna be using today. i'm doing a very simple eye look um i think i want to i definitely want to use this color right here jamada maybe this zama shade kana i think i want to stay with these four i don't know i'm this oh i don't even know if i was in frame child please anyway i feel like i don't know what i'm doing who am i okay so i'm gonna take this um morphe jaclyn hill brush this is a jh36 brush it's a really pretty fluffy br blending brush and i'm gonna start off with this shade right here zama i'm gonna put that in my crease so yeah with everything going on you know since the death of george floyd and you know us trying to get justice for him and brianna taylor and all the other people that lost their lives pretty much just living their life they've been doing protests i think it was like in all 50 states and even in like 18 other countries just trying to get you know we're just trying to get the same treatment as everybody else black people just want to be treated just like everybody else i think that's the thing that um, people that are not black don't understand because they are not black but they don't understand that because it's not happening to them they don't understand that we are treated differently and a lot of the time some people don't even realize that they're doing that but you know I've noticed that you know sometimes when I get around people they'll start talking a certain kind of way and I'm like why are you doing that and it's just putting on a little bit and just you know being treated unfairly and not really being listened to especially when it comes to like um, pregnant black women their pain tolerance not being taken seriously and things like that a lot of people don't understand that because they are not black so they don't they don't see why that way why would why would they do that because you're black it's because we're black and that's what they do they don't think they think we're stronger for some reason than other people that our pain isn't the same and that's just not true so the past couple of weeks i've had to unfollow people i've you know definitely distance myself from people my sister has had, had conversations with her friends mike is going through it with his friend right now trying to just like open people's eyes to see you know the other side of things and it's just it's just times like these where you really see you know people that you thought were kind of with you and thinking a certain kind of way that they that they're not and it's so weird because it's like i thought i knew you i thought we was cool I thought you understood me, but I guess not. So that's been very hurtful. So I've been really sad about that. I'm gonna try not to cry here today, y'all. I'm gonna keep it real cute. Y'all know I'm quick to cry. It's just still pretty emotional, but I'm just trying to move forward. So the thing that's been most hurtful to me really is just like, you know, people I've had to, I don't wanna say let go, but just kind of, go my own way hopefully we'll be able to get back i don't know because i don't know if they're gonna actually change so you know it kind of is what it is some people that i unfollowed didn't even bother reaching out to to you know so it's like okay i really see what's going on with you i kind of started letting co-workers and stuff you know be friends with me on facebook and stuff and to see some of them not saying nothing i don't really know how to deal with that because i work from home so it's not like i see these people every day or anything like that but it's like i do see them occasionally and just to see them just completely not saying anything is, is pretty hurtful especially because these people are like you know like they smile in your face you know what I mean I just kind of leave it at that because <laughs> but it just gets super hurtful when you know it's people that you know that's when it gets real hurtful uh, next I'm gonna use this shade Jamada I'm gonna put this on the outside corners of the eye color is really pretty I'm gonna bring this in about halfway because this is not actually as deep as I want it so I'm gonna put a darker shade on the outside corner y'all know what's crazy like I don't I don't think y'all understand how much I did not like care for this palette and now that I'm looking I'm like this is like a cute and it's an all matte palette like baby this is a cute um travel palette it has like everything you need in here 
you know, cute everyday type of looks. I don't know, I'm not cutting the crease while I'm on vacation and stuff like that. I don't do my makeup like that when I travel. Um, I like to do very simple looks, but they still look really nice. This palette is like, ooh. And I may or may not have another one of these for a future giveaway. Oh, and y'all, Juvia's Place did replace my broken palettes. Um, the palettes that I opened in my giveaway video, the ones that broke, they replaced them. And super quick. You know, I'm gonna talk about this for a second because, you know, Juvia's Place has had a bad reputation as far as their customer service goes. Not only did they respond to me the same day, I got the palettes like within a week. So I don't know what's going on with Juvia's Place, but baby, the customer service, has very much improved now. If they could only let people do returns and exchanges on shades that don't match, that would be perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna go on the outside corner with this dark, this dark brown shade right here. This shade is called Kafrufru, Kafrufru. And this is a e.l.f. eye crease brush. And she is performing, honey. So I have been posting a lot, you know, on my social media, you know, about trying to make people aware if they aren't, trying to provide helpful resources for us to help us stay sane. I, I posted a lot of mental health, um, some guidance on some mental health tips, some books that we can read, you know, podcasts that we can listen to to kind of get us back to not being so angry and not being so sad and, you know, our emotions being all the way up here. We can kind of just, you know, continue to do the work, but still make sure that we're taking care of ourselves first. So um, I'm going to put it in an actual post also, and I'll also put some information down in the description box. Um, ever since I posted my Black Lives Matter makeup uh, video where I was putting, you know, um, information and stuff like that, every every video since then, I think it's only been two videos, but they've had the information down in the description box um, where you can donate, um, phone numbers you can call, um, people you can email, you know, petitions you can sign and stuff like that. The, all of that will be in my description box until we see some definite actual change but i will also include things that can also help us mentally you know and emotionally to help us you know get through our day and not be so bogged down and so affected by all the things that are going on right now because we still have to make sure that we are okay and that we are taking care of ourselves as well while we are trying to make this change so you know i'm just trying y'all i've called i've emailed I've texted, I've donated, and I will continue to do so, you know, until we see some change. So that's on period. Um, and my next candle haul will be all black owned. I'm really excited about that. I'm placing my orders tomorrow. I'm starting to get low on my candles, so I need some new ones, and this is the perfect time to go out and support some black businesses. You know, I'm all about peace, aromatherapy, calming. I'm burning a candle right now that I'm not gonna, um, I talked about it in my candle video and it's not going to get a good review because I can't smell the sheet and I've been burning it for hours. All right, now I'm taking this really dark gray shade called Walzana and I'm gonna put that um, in the very outer V. It's like right down here, right in this little space right here. Ooh, that thing is pigmented, yes. Ooh, this is a really pretty shade. You don't see a lot of gray um, eyeshadows. Now I'm just going back and forth between the gray and the brown. I'm bringing that brown shade kind of forward a little bit. Okay, now I want to take this beige shade called Kana. This is a Wet n Wild flat brush, and I'm gonna put that um, that Kana shade right on the front part here. Yes, get into it. Yeah, get into it. I like it. Okay, let me do a little bit of blending because it it's needed. All right, so I'm actually gonna take that first shade that I used, Jamada. That first shade that I used, Jamada, I'm just gonna use this right here to blend these shades. All right, so finally, I'm gonna take this shade, Dora, and I'm gonna put that um, up in my brow bone space. Maybe I am into it, I am all about it. Yes. For mascara, I'm using the Balm Matte Lash. How do I feel about this mascara? I think this is like my third or fourth time using this. I like it. I'm gonna put y'all on game. The Balm does a 50% off sale the entire site twice a year. That's usually when I order all my stuff from them. I love, love, love their eyeliner. Their eyeliner is my absolute favorite besides the Revlon Colorstay. Those two eyeliners are my absolute favorite. And that's when I buy that stuff. So what I'm saying is this mascara, buy it during the sale. This is a mini one, um, but um, when they have their sale, 
I don't know what that was. But when they have their sale, I will buy the full size at 50% off. It's a nice mascara. I just feel some type of way about buying high-end mascaras. I only buy them on sale. I've never paid full price for a high-end mascara ever, and I don't know that I ever will. I just, it's mascara. The high-end mascara that's my favorite is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. The last time I bought it was during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, and I got it for $11, so that's all I'm gonna be able to do. So since this is an all matte eye look, I don't know that I'm gonna have like a, you know, shimmery inner eye, but I will take this white shade called Zazz and I'm gonna put that, you know, kind of as my inner eye highlight. Just make it a little bit brighter on the inside. I'm gonna blend that out in a second. Hold on, hold please. Okay, so the next product that I have to try out here is called this Velour Lash and Go. It's supposed to be a lash adhesive when it's wet and then when it dries, it's an eyeliner. Wet? Um. I'm gonna see how it works. I did wanna do a wing with this look, but I don't think I'm going to because I do wanna see what how, what this does. So I will forego my wing today. I got this with the Sephora, you know, the little promo things that they do. When you buy a certain amount, you get like free stuff. So, okay, so you can use it um, on its own, just like an eyeliner. So it says, for best results, use the eyes eyeliner one on an angle and start with light pressure okay and then you can use it with false lashes so it says okay all right so pretty much you put it on like an eyeliner and stick it on like a glue i'm very curious to see how this is gonna work i'm assuming this doesn't work i mean i guess you could draw a wing with this i guess let me check let me see how the consistency is it's a tiny little bottle you know a little sample so this is the wand it's kind of runny okay It smells like corn. Why does it smell like that? It smells like corn chips. <laughs> corn chips and like glue mixed together. Okay, I'm gonna try to draw this line. And is this sticky enough to be a glue? This doesn't feel sticky enough to be a lash glue. What's sticking to these, sweetie? Y'all, I don't trust it. How are you supposed to put, this, this doesn't feel sticky enough to even hold any lashes. I don't understand. I'll tell you what though. A pretty nice eyeliner it's a really nice eyeliner okay so i'm just gonna use it as my eyeliner i'm gonna try to stick some lashes on it i guess so while i'm doing this how have y'all been doing during all this have you had to have any different difficult conversations have you had to cut anybody off how has it been for you i felt so many different emotions i've been sad scared angry let down hopeless then hopeful, <laughs> you know, there has been, you know, some change happening and it's only been a week. So that's just really um, nice to see. And I feel like y'all, we are in a super important part of time right now. Um, this is definitely gonna make history for sure. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping for the better. I'm gonna try to use this as a eyeliner and a lash glue i just i don't see how this this doesn't feel strong enough so let me see i like the wand it's cute for eyeliner so let's see what's going on now it doesn't feel as watery i hate doing this is really hard for me to do this without getting on my lashes <sighs> my eyes about to start watering i don't have a lot of time this is all in my lashes I got most of it in my lashes than anything else. You don't see all that in my lashes. <laughs> all right, let's see how it works as a lash glue. I don't think it's working all that well. <laughs> I'm gonna have to use like a real lash glue, especially on the ends. It's not really sticking. Like in the middle, it's sticking really nicely. It's on there, but on the ends, it's not, so let me try to add a little bit more. Also, I'm not sure how I feel about these lashes for this look. I don't like how it got like all over my um, eyelashes and it's like sticky now. Cause usually when I do my eyeliner, it gets all over my lashes and stuff, but I can just wipe it off cause it's just eyeliner. So I'm actually, I don't like this. This is shit. It's too difficult and it's too annoying. So back to like I was talking about the, the my favorite eyeliner by the Balm. This is the Schwing Batter Eyeliner. Oh, I love this eyeliner. It's just so perfect.
Now that I'm using my eyeliner, I am going to do a wing. The lashes I'm going to wear instead are by Our Girl Lash by Kia, and these are in the style Schoolgirl. Oh, these are nice and fluffy. Yeah, it's Kia. I'm going to use a regular lash glue. You know, the only reason I got it, first of all, it was free. But also, you know, I just wanted to see like what the hell was that? It's okay as an eyeliner. Maybe I need a longer one because it was getting like, it's all in my lashes. They are so thick and coated with liner slash glue. It's very weird. And the glue honestly isn't sticky enough to hold any lashes. It dries super quick. I just, baby, be one or the other. They tried though. It was a cute idea, kind of. I will say it is not going anywhere. So that's cute but I don't know if I'm gonna use that ever again. Maybe it'll be cute for lashes with a super thin band because they'll be they'll have an easier time like sticking on. Maybe, I don't know, child. I'll give it another shot when I do my everyday, you know, my everyday makeup where it's like no eyeshadow or nothing like that. I'll give them another shot then, but I, I, I can't. It's too much stress. Um, okay, primer. For primer, I'm gonna use my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I haven't used her in a while. She's just sitting in the back all alone. I love the smell of that. Definitely used too much. Okay. I forgot that you do not need a lot of this. <laughs> it's been so long since I've used it. I'm gonna put this right back. I'm putting this back in the... Y'all know this is $65. I'm not wasting this. Putting this right back in here. Scoop. That's a whole nother um, beat that I'm scooping back in there. Get right back in there. No man. $65, baby. All right, let's get these lashes on. These lashes are bringing the drama, honey. Oh, these are dramatic, baby. Yes, these are in the style school girl. And these are by Lash by Kia. Remember, you can shop Lash by Kia from now through July 10th. You can get 20% off when you use my code LQ200. Boom. If you like dramatic lashes, you will like these. They are super fluttery on the ends. As you can see, this one, I put this one on wrong. So she's about, she about to make me flutter away. Shop Lash by Kia, support black businesses. Speaking of y'all, I want to go ahead and take this time to give a congratulations to my girl, Miss Deanna Monet TV. Y'all, Deanna has started her own online business. <laughs> Yes, 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 girl. It is called Monet Dior Couture. <laughs> that sounds extra bougie. Y'all know I love it. It is super, super cute. She has tons of like cute jewelry, midi rings, bangles, earrings. She also says she's going to have hair care on there, y'all. I'm just so proud of everybody out here doing their thing, getting their little side hustles together. We have to make sure that we support people. We support our fellow, you know, creators out here trying to do it, everyone with their, with their businesses and stuff like that. So so I will put Deanna's video down in the description box down below, her announcing her online business. Girl, I'm so happy for you. I'm so proud of you. Get the money, baby. Yes. When people have good quality products and things that you don't get anywhere else, and especially at such a good price, I mean, Kia's lashes are under $10. Deanna's stuff is going to be super affordable as well. And we also got our girl, Tiffany. I will be doing some of her stuff too. A more in beauty. Yes, ma'am. Y'all better do it. We got Silky Sacks coming out with a Silky Sacks, y'all, I got a hair video coming up soon, so y'all don't worry. Support people out here, especially these black owned businesses. Like, we just trying to make a living just like everybody else. They deserve the same opportunities as everybody else, and ain't nobody gonna know about it unless you help get the word out. So, support your people. I'm just so proud of everybody. It's just, it's so inspiring just to see people doing their own thing, getting their own hustle together. I couldn't even edit, I had a video it just needed to be edited but i just couldn't even bring myself to edit it was hard to get up and get out of bed that's hard for me every day but <laughs> um it was just especially hard last week i was just crying almost every day multiple times a day and i just i had enough and i'm just trying to get back into exercising and meditating and reading i fell off on my reading i noticed i don't know if y'all noticed but i haven't done any book club mukbangs lately so i'm trying to get back into my reading and stuff like that just trying to get back to being me but i know it's going to take a while because it's just like more stuff but 
I'm glad that this stuff is being put out there. I'm gonna talk with people. I'm glad that all this stuff is being put out there in people's faces because, you know, unfortunately, a lot of these people don't know because they don't live it. They don't hang around a lot of black people. They don't experience the struggles of the black man and the black woman. So they really, they don't know. So unfortunately, we have to teach them and we have to give them the information and let them make decisions for themselves. And we can just hope that they support us and hope that we want to hope that they understand that all we want at the end of the day is just to be treated like everybody else you know so that's that's what we try to do but in the meantime make sure that you're okay also take time if you need it do whatever you have to do to keep yourself together so you can be strong so we can continue to fight if you're not at your best and you're not feeling good yourself how do you expect to be able to go out and fight you know and when I say fight, I mean, you know, stand up for and help us get the rights and the, the treatment that we deserve. So when I say fight, I don't mean actually fighting, peaceful protesting, things like that, getting the word out. So for foundation, I have a new foundation. I got this Studio Fix, this MAC Studio Fix foundation stick, and I got the shade NW47. And I feel like, I feel like it's going to be a little bit too dark because I swatched it when I first got it and it looked a little bit dark. So... This is the shade right here. It looks okay right here. So let's see, it's kind of loose. Um, so let's see what it do. And I believe this is a soft matte. Yeah, this is a soft matte foundation stick, NW47. Oh, it's not too bad. It is a little dark, but it's not that bad. Every time I say it's not that bad and then I start looking at it in, in real life, I'm like, you know what? It's kind of dark. This is all. This is why I get in um, flashbacks to the to the Juvia's place stick foundation. All right, yeah, we gonna make it work. It's dark, but it's not that dark. I don't think. But when I look at it in person, it looks really dark. But on the camera, it doesn't look dark. It doesn't look that dark. But when I look on the monitor, it doesn't look bad. But then when I look at my phone monitor, I have two monitors. It looks really dark. All right, let's see what it do. We're just blending out nice and easy. I'd definitely say this is a light to medium coverage. The shade isn't that bad. I could definitely go like a shade lighter, but um, this works also. This isn't too bad. I like how easy it is to blend out. Yeah, if you like a lighter coverage, you'll like this foundation stick. I'm gonna go with a little bit more. <laughs> I want a little bit more coverage. I don't like how this feels so unsturdy. It feels like very cheaply made. They definitely changed their packaging and I do not care for it. Y'all know I haven't been in MAC in forever. They on the decline, baby. I still love MAC for certain things, but it's just like, I don't really shop at MAC that often. I only got this foundation stick because it was on sale at Ulta. I don't be in MAC like that. They are honestly overpriced. This is like a, this would be a perfect summer shade for me if I were to go outside and like get some sun. I think I can still rock it though on the rag. Um, so, okay, so I like the coverage of this. I like the soft matte, absolutely. I love that type of coverage, that is gorgeous. It looks good, I like it. So far, it's lit. Okay, so the next product I have to talk about, um, I used this literally just yesterday, so in my gray and silver makeup look. This concealer is the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer, and I got the shade Golden Amber. So my opinion, just from using this yesterday, I did not like it. It was super hard to blend out, and honestly, this is not my shade. It's too light, but I can make it work, but I didn't like it. So I'm gonna give it another shot today, and I'm gonna just blend it in like immediately. I let it sit yesterday, and I, sh I shouldn't have done that, but I didn't know. So I'm gonna go in and blend it immediately today to see if that makes any kind of a difference. I've heard people say how much they love this concealer and I just want it, baby. Okay, so this is the applicator. Yeah, the shade is a little too light for me, so I'm not gonna use a ton. I mean, it's just the shade I don't like. I don't know though, it just seems so, um, a little stiff. This is medium coverage. I don't like this. I'm gonna try, you know what? I'll try it in a different shade, but I don't, I don't know if it's just the shade that I don't like. I just don't think I like this. This might be good for cutting the crease. I had to go from online. So I got this from Ulta. Also, they were having a sale. So I grabbed a bunch of stuff. It's moving around a little bit, but if I let it sit, then it's too hard to blend. And it's not really giving me a lot of coverage. See, like, look, I can barely even, it hasn't even been sitting there that long. 
So I'm going to immediately go in with my setting powder. Yeah, this is not giving me any kind of coverage. My lines are still very much visible, more so than usual. I'm going to have to catch it on sale again because I believe this is over $10. So I'm using my Laura Mercier Deep Setting Powder. Yeah, I got to use this because I need something to tone down this bright ass concealer. I still don't like it. <laughs> Update, is it lit or is it shit? It's shit. I don't like it. Y'all, I feel like I've been doing my makeup forever. I think I have. I guess that's what happens when you don't talk for a while and then you get on here and all you wanna do is talk. Clearly I've missed filming, clearly. It's so funny cause before I sat down to film, I was like, I don't really know what I'm gonna be able to talk. I don't really know if I'm gonna be able to talk much. And that was a lie in Maury's voice. All right, so under my eyes, I'm gonna use these two shades, Jamada and Zama. I'm also gonna take a little bit of that dark gray, Walzana, and I'm gonna put that on the very outside corner here. What is it about doing your makeup? What is it that just makes your mood so much better? Yeah, I don't know what it is. There's just something about it. I don't know. I think I just have fun in here talking to myself alone in this room. Because <sighs> at the end of the day, that's what's really going on. <laughs> you know what? Sometimes I imagine that y'all are actually like listening and talking back to me. I think that's the issue. Y'all, I'm not going to lie. I'm feeling hella cute. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So for my waterline, for my waterline, I'm using this NYX eyeliner in the shade Ox Blood. It's a really pretty um, deep burgundy shade. I know y'all seen me use this before. I love a colorful waterline. It's so subtle, but it's so like, I definitely notice when people have a colorful waterline. I notice when people have anything in the waterline, honestly, but especially when it's like a pop of color and it's like a brown or a burgundy like this, you can see it, especially up close. And it just makes all the difference. I love watching people do their makeup. I love it. My absolute favorite thing ever. That and watching people eat. <laughs> I'm actually watching a mukbang in the corner while I'm recording this. So I'm watching a mukbang right now. This girl named Hamzi. Hamzi, Hamzi, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Mukbangs will resume next week. My next mukbang will actually be announced in my giveaway winner, so look out for that next week. I haven't picked them yet or put them in that thing. May the odds be forever in your favor. Now I'm gonna put on some bottom mascara. I'm gonna use the same matte lash that I used earlier. This wand is really good for um, upper lashes, but it's not the best for bottom lashes. See how it curves up like this? It's really good for your upper, but for the bottom, I actually flip it to the back. So it's like archy and then I do it like that backwards because it's too, I feel like I'm going to get it all over my face. You know, hold on, hold on. My girl Kim lately has been using her lash primer before she does her lashes. And I had, y'all have had this lash primer. I have two of these actually. These are by Lancome something booster xl so this is an eyelash primer i'm gonna put this on my bottom lashes before i put on my bottom lash mascara i keep meaning to use this but i never have it out and i always forget about it and when i've been watching kim's like um latest videos when she's been priming her eyelashes like it's been popping i love when you can see bottom lashes i'm gonna put this primer on Cool, I just got mascara on my eye. Doing the exact same thing I told y'all that I wasn't gonna do. All right, so I'm gonna let that mascara dry down before I peel it off. Let's go ahead and move on to like contour, bronzing, and blush, and all that whatnot. So I have a new bronzer. This is by Makeup Revolution. This thing is huge. This is the um, Revolution Glow Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer, and I got the shade Medium. Again, Kim, thank you for the advice on what shade to get because I think this is perfect. I used this yesterday for the first time also, and I can already tell you it's lit. But the only thing is it's hard to open. Look how big this pan is. I kind of like the smell too. It smells kind of coconutty. And it's huge, $12, and it's matte. I don't like a shimmery bronzer. I'm sure I've mentioned this before. I'm not that kind of girl. I don't know, I just think it's weird to have shimmer like up here and here. I, that's weird to me, to each its own. If that's what you like, that's fine. But for me, I don't like it. I love a matte bronzer. So I got this bronzer by Makeup Revolution. I got this from Ulta again, it was $12. So let's bronze. I don't know that I'm gonna contour today. Am I? 
Yes. We're committing to the beat. To contour, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation in the shade Cool Earth. I miss doing chit chat get ready with me. <laughs> I haven't been doing them lately because I'm trying not to talk as much in my videos because my videos be like 30 minutes long and I know it's a little bit difficult for people to do that but I just when I first started YouTube those were the kind of videos that I like to watch. I like watching longer videos so those are kind of videos that I like doing. I try to keep my videos around the 15. I feel like this one's going to be a little bit longer because I was talking about a lot of stuff and I'm just leaving it because it's how I feel <laughs> like so I think that's how I'm going to go from now on. I'm not going to try to like limit myself to a certain time limit. Like if I want to do my makeup and talk with y'all for 30 minutes and that's what I'm going to do. And I just hope that you stay with me and do your makeup along with me. That's why I like watching long get ready with me. Also, I don't know. It's just super relaxing to me to watch people do their makeup. I love it. Like hang out with me, girl. What are you doing? The makeup community can be such a wonderful and a terrible place all at the same time. I don't consider myself to be in the makeup community, but you know there's a lot of drama going around lately uh, i do want to give props so now i'm going to go ahead and bronze i do want to give props to jackie Ina for doing the pull up challenge if y'all don't know about this um makeup beauty guru is jackie Ina. jackie um started this um instagram page called pull up for change it's verified and everything already she basically called out not called well yeah calling out kind of all these major makeup brands and fashion brands that claim they're supporting black people and they're inclusive and all this kind of stuff and they're using our culture and our images for their merchandising and promos she said hey we would like for you she gave them like 72 hours um, we would like you within the next 72 hours to please report the number of black employees you have at um, an executive, you know, in upper management levels. <laughs> Y'all, the numbers were crazy. You can follow the Instagram page, pull up for change. And some of these people have zero black representation within their companies. And a lot of them have, I believe they want to, they want the standard to be anywhere between eight to 10%. And a lot of people just are not meeting those standards. And these are makeup brands that we are out here buying from, you know, we are out here, you know, giving them our hard earned money and turns out they don't even have any black people working for them whatsoever. So it was super eye opening. I've definitely been a lot more cautious when I buy things from certain companies. There are certain companies that I will not be, you know, giving my money to any longer. And right now there's a whole big drama going around with Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just like, y'all, Anastasia. So I'm waiting to see the outcome of that because I just got a new Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and I'm dying to use it. I still might go ahead and use it, but I just probably will not be giving my money to the company going forward in the future. Like, you know, I paid my money for these products, so I'm going to use them, but I'm just going to, you know, be a little bit more cautious going forward. So we're going to see what happens with that. Y'all can look up all the drama if y'all want. There's an Instagram page called Here for the T2, number two, and they have all the drama on all the makeup teas going on. Chat. Bronze slash contour my nose. I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade Coco Naughty. Yeah, it's just like a lot of drama and I'm just like so proud of Jackie for coming up with that. It's just so important because these people claim they're, you know, our allies and you know, we love y'all and we want to we want to have as many shades as possible and we want to we want to um black people to have just as many options as everybody else and they it's just like but y'all don't even have any black people speaking up and giving their opinion and, and advice and suggestions for how you should move and market to the black community. Y'all don't even have that representation. So how are y'all saying that you care about us and you're inclusive? when you're not okay let me peel off this mascara while i can see it some people didn't even want to report their numbers now you know that's bad you know the people that i'm proud of well not proud of but i give like props to were the people that had zero black representation and they still reported their numbers some people are like you know what some people are like you know what? we're not going to tell you how many black people we have but we will say that we need to make a change so that means you don't have any because there's people out here that don't have any and they're like, you know what, we don't have any and we need to change that. So for blush, I'm using this Juvia's Place Saharan Blush Palette Volume 1 and I'm going to use the shades Neo and Zane. I feel like if I mix these two together, it's going to be a really pretty combination. Okay, I'm a little extra blushy, but you know what? It's cool. Press and tap, press and tap. So for highlighter, I'm going to use this ColourPop highlighter in the shade Churro. It's so pretty. And it's just as buttery as I remember. Look at that, y'all. Gorgeous. Oh, it's so buttery. 
I don't know how they do that. Ugh. I don't think they sell this anymore. So I'm sorry if y'all can't find this. I think this was like a special edition type of deal. I'm also gonna use this shade for my nose highlight. Okay, so to line my lips, I'm gonna use this NYX lip liner in the shade Mahogany. For lipstick, I'm using Bachelorette by Colored Rain. I love this shade. Um, so in the center of my lips, I'm going in with the shade Mars, also by Colored Rain. I mean, period. Baby, look at the combo. This concealer is so bright, y'all. It's driving me crazy. I feel like I look like a ghost. That's definitely gonna be a cut crease concealer going forward. So I'm gonna use this Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. I've been really loving this lately. This is the final look, y'all. So what do you think? Do you like it? Am I cute? Y'all, thank you so much for getting ready with me, chatting with me, letting me vent and get a few things off my chest. I've just been really going through a lot lately just like the rest of us and I just think it's super important to get it out when you can talk about it you know last week I was I could not talk about it subscribe to my channel if you haven't already y'all thank you so 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 much and I will see you in the next video bye